Hello and welcome to this video on the first login into the Filer Web Appliance. This is valid for whether you're doing a single server install or a clustered install. First of all, bring up a browser and just type in the server address of your Filer Appliance. You don't need to do HTTPS or port a, put a port number on this one. In my case, my server is FilerWeb.demo.live and just hit return on that. Just be aware that uh, if you've only just started or reconfigured the Filer appliance this may take a while to come up and you may get a server not found or page not found. Um, just wait a couple of minutes and try again. Uh, the Filer Tomcat uh, instance can take a while to come up and worst case scenario just try going through on port 8443 which uh, is the Tomcat port. Uh, it does a redirection behind the scenes to that, but if the redirection is failing, uh, just try doing a colon 8443. Next, put in your uh, administration login here. Um, the password, as we said earlier, is going to be the same as the login name. So if you have changed your login ID to be Bob, for instance, then the default password is going to be Bob. In my instance, I just kept the default of admin, so the user is going to be admin, and the password is going to be exactly the same here. First thing that gets happens when we log in is that we get prompted for uh, changing the password. Just put in the current password and then enter what you want the new password to be. Of course, don't forget this password. You'll need it when logging in to administer the Filer appliance. Uh, we then get prompted about uh, the telemetry and product improvement. Now, this just sends anonymous information to our developers so we know how, uh, how the types of environments that customers are running in. This is totally anonymous, doesn't have any information about you at all there, and indeed you can see what it is going to send um, uh, if you want, uh, once there's information to send. Uh, it would help us if you left it enabled, but do feel free to turn it off if you wish. Then what we need to do is just go into the administration console. You can get to the administration console by clicking on your the name in the top right and taking the option. For administration console. So now the main things we need to do here are set up our LDAP import for users. We then need to set up our net folders servers and net folders. And if we're going to be sharing, we need to set up our share settings there. I hope that you found this video useful. Thank you for listening.